Hi families! Summer is a great time for scholarship searching whether your son or daughter is in high school or college. So today I want to talk to you a little bit about that and go over some tips to help you effectively search for and find those scholarships. There are still a lot out there available for the 2021 school year that you can be applying for. There's a lot with summer deadlines. So if you have stopped the searching or haven't started yet, it's not too late. You can still apply for them. And in six short weeks, all the scholarships for the 21-22 school year are going to begin to reopen. So your son or daughter can not only be applying for scholarships for the upcoming year, but also for their next year, whether they're in high school or college, there are thousands of scholarships out there. So one thing to keep in mind as you're doing your scholarship searching is um, the types of scholarships you're looking for and the amounts. A lot of students really focus on the larger scholarships, you know, $5,000, $10,000, because they want to get the best bang for their buck. But keep in mind, so are a lot of other students. They're also searching for those larger scholarships, which makes those more competitive. So I always recommend sticking to the scholarships that are about $3,000 or less, because when scholarship money goes unused each year, it's typically money from those smaller scholarships. So that's one tip to help you be effective with your searching. Another tip I have is to create a separate email um, specifically for scholarship searching. And maybe it's a family email that parents use and also students use. And the reason for this is once you start providing your emails to these scholarship agencies, you are going to get bombarded with some mail, some email. It's just kind of the way that it happens and you don't want your inbox to be overloaded. So create a separate email. And then another tip is uh, an organizational system. So one thing that I go over in my webinar is how to stay organized through this process. You know, the key is consistently searching for scholarships on like a weekly basis, maybe spending about an hour a week doing that. Um, but in order to do that, you have to have a system in place that makes it most effective. So creating some kind of Google Sheet that has six different sections that both parents and student can edit is ideal. This works best for most of the families uh, that I work with. And what you want to have in each section is um, the first would be the due date. So you can organize scholarships by the date they're due. The next section would be the scholarship name or the organization that's offering it. The third section is going to be the scholarship URL or where you can actually find the scholarship. So the link that your uh, son or daughter can access to apply for it. Fourth column would be uh, the amount of the scholarship. Fifth column would be like an applied box that can just be checked off. So once they've applied for it, you can kind of mark that off uh, so they know and they can stay organized. And then the last column would be a note section. And the reason why I like the note section is because as you're out there searching for scholarships, there might be little might be little things you come across that you want to flag um, for that particular scholarship. One of them would be Maybe it's a scholarship that your son or daughter would be eligible to apply for, but they missed the deadline. So they can apply for it next year when it reopens. This is a great note to put in your spreadsheet and it's going to save you the time from searching and it's already going to be there for when it opens up next year. And you know, just a little note that says, um, refer to this scholarship when it reopens for the 21-22 school year. So as you're doing your searching, you're kind of setting the stage for um, next year and scholarships that can be applied for. So great way to kind of stay organized. Um, definitely need some kind of system to do that. So $3,000 scholarships and less, create a separate email and also uh, a system to help you stay organized through the process. And if you haven't already watched my webinar or it's been a while, um, I would highly recommend going in and watching it. Scholarships 101, it is uploaded to the Academy, 45 minutes long, and it gives you a lot of great information on how to effectively search for and find those scholarships. I also just uploaded a bunch of resources of uh, scholarship resources with deadlines in July. So recommend that you all take a look at those. There's some great ones in there. They're more general, about $1,000 to $1,500 that um, most students can apply for whether they're in college or in high school. So check those out too. And remember to do your scholarship searching this summer. Thanks for watching.